My name is Mary Bedort and I work for Lamplighter Publishing and what we do is we take books from the 17, 18, 19th century that are out of print and republish them. So they're great character building stories, biblical character building stories. And some of my favorite books are for children, Teddy's Button. Um, this teaches children how to get along. It's fabulous. It's one of our number one sellers. We have uh, fiction. We have books for all ages. We have illustrated books over here for the younger children. And then we have grade school, right on up through high school adult reading levels. So we cover all ages. And another one of my favorites is Hedge of Thorns. It's a true story. It teaches boundaries. Children to obey their parents, just like we need to obey God. It's not that we have to know why, we just have to obey. And that's a fabulous story also. We also carry that in our illustrated. Some of our books, we've taken our chapter books and they're a bridge for younger uh, children. And then we also have our theater dramas that are on the radio. And so we've taken 14 of our books and we've done them in theater drama and you'll hear them on the radio. And they're what's, awesome. What's another one of your favorites? Hidden Hand. This is great for teenagers and adults. Wonderful story. Capitola is a Spitfire girl, and maybe I like it so much because I might identify with being a Spitfire girl. But this is great. She gets into all these scrapes, and it's her desire to do God's will in every situation. A fabulous book. You need to get one. What's another favorite? The Lost Pearl. This one's very suspenseful. It's awesome. It's one of the books I could not figure out the ending in it. Great story. Then if you're looking for adventure for boys, the Braveheart, great story. A boy gets left behind in the Antarctic um, with another man, and it's their adventures to survival in the Antarctic. Wonderful story. One of our top sellers for girls is the Basket of Flowers. This is a great story of a dad who teaches his daughter the virtues of life through a flower garden. And she's falsely accused and thrown into prison. And yeah, she doesn't, you know, this prison's really a, a horrible prison. Um, they usually don't get out of there. They usually end up with death. But she survives, and I won't tell you any more about that. You'll have to get it. All right. All right. Thank you very much.